Hi guys, I'm gonna walk you guys through step by step on how to complete the Punnett squares so that you have a better idea um, of how to do them on your own. So I'll go through the example problems for each type and the first practice question, and I'll leave you guys practice question two to do on your own. So our first one, Punnett square type one, predicting offspring. The example problem, two parents are both heterozygous for the tall gene. A, what are the possible genotypes and phenotypes of the offspring? B, what percentage of the offspring will be tall? So our first step is to draw the Punnett square. Okay, so drawing one big square, dividing it up into four. Step two is to add uh, our first parent. So both parents are heterozygous for the tall gene. So that means both parents are gonna be capital T, lowercase t. So we're going to add the first parent at the top of the square. Each of those alleles is going to go with one box. So the capital goes first, so capital T, and then our lowercase t. So there's parent one. Parent two, we're going to put along the side. Again, putting one allele per box. Heterozygous again, so capital T in the first box, lowercase t in the second box. Our fourth step is to fill in the square. So to fill in the square, you're gonna take the letters that are above the square and to the side and drop them both into the box. So for our first box, we're gonna drop down a capital T from the top and we're gonna bring over a capital T from the side. That's gonna give us capital T, capital T. We're gonna do the same thing for the other three boxes. So drop down the lowercase t here bring over the capital case T from the side, and here we end up with capital T, lowercase t. You always put the capital first, regardless of whether it came from the top or the side. We'll do the same thing for the bottom row. So bringing our capital T down and our lowercase t from the side, we end up with capital T, lowercase t. And our last one, bringing our lowercase t down and bringing this lowercase t across. We end up with lowercase t, lowercase t. So now our square is complete. We have all four boxes filled in. Our next step is to write out the genotypes and the phenotypes of those offspring in the four boxes. So we'll start with the genotypes. Okay, the genotypes are the alleles that are present okay, for each offspring. So we look at each of the four boxes and we're going to write out their alleles. So we have capital T, capital T in our first box. In our second one we have capital T, lowercase t, capital T, lowercase t, and our last one, lowercase, lowercase. Okay, we can then combine the ones that are the same. So this is going to equal one, capital T, capital T, because there's one offspring that has both capitals. We have two that are heterozygous, capital T and lowercase t. So we'd write two, capital T, lowercase t, and then remaining, okay, we have one that is both lowercase t's. Okay, so there are our genotypes. The last step is to take our genotypes Okay, so what we just wrote here, and convert them now to phenotypes. So what they would actually look like. What trait would those offspring have? Okay, so the one that is capital T, capital T, those are both dominant alleles. So they're going to show the dominant gene. In this case, the dominant gene is tall. Okay, so our first person, our first offspring is going to be tall. Our second one, capital T, lowercase t. Because they have the dominant allele for tall, they are going to also be tall. So our second one is tall. Our third one is the same, capital T, lowercase t. It has the capital, so it will show that trait, which is tall. And our fourth one, both lowercase t's. So here they have both alleles for short, so they are going to be short. And then again, we can simplify that. We have one, two, three offspring that are tall and one offspring that is short. Okay, the last thing you want to do is to answer the questions. Okay, so question A, what are the possible genotypes and phenotypes? We just answered that. So there's our genotypes. 
there's our phenotypes. So here is our answer for A. Okay, and then our last question was B, what percentage of the offspring will be tall? So we can see from our phenotypes, three out of four are gonna be tall, one out of four are gonna be short. So our answer would be three out of four, and then we would convert that to a percentage, which would equal 75%. So that's how you go through our example problem.